Hi guys, welcome, welcome. This is our I Am Fabulous class, and I am so excited that you're here, or if you weren't able to catch the live class, welcome to the replay of the class. This is one that I've been so excited to do, and I've gotten a lot of requests to do this. And this is actually from the work of a really cool acupuncturist. It's Desiree Mangadog. And we're gonna go off of her tear pad sheet and her education. And I highly recommend that you follow her on Facebook. She is really, really amazing. And in our group that you have, we have the tear pad for this class. So make sure that you download it. The tear pad will be up for two weeks as long as the replay is up. So make sure that you download this and snag this so that you have it before everything else comes down. But you can follow along with the tear pad as we go along. So don't feel like you have to memorize anything or write a bunch of notes because it's all going to be written down here for you. And if you have essential oils, I really encourage you to get your essential oils out, bring them with you, and we're going to go through this and just kind of work on some emotional balancing and you can pull your oils out and just oil up and follow along with us. Or if you're new to essential oils, stay tuned and we can talk all about how you use the essential oils and what to do with them. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to use the essential oils is for emotional support, which is really, really cool. So I'm so glad that you're here. For those of you that are new, because we have a lot of new people in our group, so welcome if you're new. I'm Dr. Laura Ritchie. I am an essential oil educator and leader with doTERRA International. I'm a certified women's health and functional nutrition coach, and I'm also a doctor of physical therapy. So I'm so glad that you guys are here. Oh, hi, Julie, welcome. Julie's joining us from Canada. And this is really exciting and stay tuned. We're gonna have a giveaway for you guys that are here live. We've got lots of really fun goodies from Aroma Tools. So thank you Aroma Tools for donating some goodies for us. And oh, no problem. Thanks for, for popping in for a little bit. So yeah, this is so cool. We have people joining from all over, from Canada, from the United States, from the UK, and that's really, really exciting. And it's fun that we can do this with technology and just be able to share all of this awesome education. So we are going to jump right into our class and talk about why we use essential oils for emotional wellness. And this is something that is really interesting because I came to essential oils for physical support and the emotional support has actually become my favorite way to use essential oils. Oh, hi, Marianne. I'm so glad that you guys are joining us and popping in. And because with the emotional piece, and I really feel like we are three-dimensional people, right? We are mind, body, soul, and we have to kind of look at that. And I feel like with any illness or challenge that we're facing, there is definitely, you know, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual component to that. And I feel like the essential oils do a really beautiful job of supporting us in all of those areas. So this is going to be really, really fun. And we use essential oils for emotional support because our emotional health really affects our physical health. And we can see that everything from our hormonal balance to energy to just functioning day to day. So it's really cool that we can use these things to support us and our physical, relational, spiritual, and professional success is really dependent on our emotional maturity and being able to handle these obstacles, these challenges that life throws at us. And my mentor, Dr. Rita Marie, in our nutritional endocrinology program, she talks about how the world's not going to change, we have to change. And a lot of people may have some adrenal insufficiency, maybe feeling burned out, and it's really our response to those challenges that come and how we can use our essential oils to really support us, which I think is really cool. And what we're gonna do in this virtual class is we are going to walk through Desiree's protocol that she has for applying specific essential oils to acupuncture points, which I think is really cool. So getting in tap with those meridians and those acupuncture points to work on removing common emotional blockages that we may have. So we're going to talk about addressing overwhelm and fear and self-esteem and just bringing a little bit more clarity and stepping into our own personal power, which is really amazing. And these are all really recommendations for how to navigate her book. And I highly, highly recommend her book. So it is the I Am Fabulous book and it is fantastic. I, I really recommend it. It's a beautiful book. As you can see, I'll just kind of open it up. She has some really pretty pictures here and she has different roller blends. I think there's like 43 
roller recipes in here to help support you along your journey, which is really cool. And you can actually find the book at Aroma Tools, Oil Life, Edge Success. Those are all places that you can snag one. They were sold out for a long time, so you might have to wait a little while um, to snag one. But this book, highly, highly recommend it, guys. So we're going to be mentioning that a little bit and just talking about how to really address these emotional things and support us along our health and wellness journey. So the first one that we're going to talk about is eliminating overwhelm. And I don't know about you guys, but I can feel overwhelmed from time to time. And this is a really great tool that we can use to help us. So the first oil that we're going to talk about is actually our Melaleuca. So Melaleuca, a lot of us know as tea tree oil, and we think of it as being really supportive for the skin, but it can also really help with overwhelm. So this is the oil of energetic boundaries. And so I'm getting this information from the Emotions and Essential Oils book. Highly, highly recommend this book as well. It is a game changer, and it's so interesting when you start to kind of tie in the emotional piece with your essential oil journey. But you can apply the oils to a couple different areas. So back of the neck is a good place. You can put it along the throat right here. You can do around the heart area. So you can just apply some there. Hopefully I'm not messing up the microphone. <laughs> and let me know too uh, where you guys are from. I'd love to hear from you guys. And then you can also apply it around um, kind of the solar plexus area. And these are all really nice areas to apply your essential oils again along those acupuncture points. Oh, perfect, Marianne. Yeah, this is gonna be really great with um, supporting self-esteem and all of those things. So this really helps, the Melaleuca helps to kind of come in and it helps to kind of cleanse our attachments to the things that don't serve us. So sometimes we involve ourselves in people or circumstances or commitments or things that don't really serve us. And maybe they're not healthy for us and maybe they're creating some overwhelm in our life. And so by applying the Melaleuca to those areas, it can really help with letting go of unhealthy attachments, right? Energetic boundaries. And boundaries are so, so important along our health journey. You can do anything, but you can't do anything. Or you can do anything, but you can't do everything, right? So we have to make decisions and that's really, really important. And we have to say no. And sometimes we need some help with that. So we can use our essential oils to help us because really when you say yes to anything, you're also saying no to other things too. So really starting to look at that, where you're putting your time and energy and asking yourself, is this moving me towards my health and wellness goals or is this moving me away from them? And so that's a really, really interesting concept. Another oil that she talks about to eliminate overwhelm. Oh, and I should say too, that doTERRA does have the touch rollers. So here's the Melaleuca touch. So if you wanted to use that for easier application, you could do that as well. Melaleuca is one that you can apply neat, but some of the oils uh, can get a little hot. So we wanna dilute them with that. Oh, yay, Colleen, I'm so glad that you can listen and that's very cool. Um, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Marianne. Yeah, so the essential oils can really help to support some of that, definitely. So what we're gonna talk about next is oregano. So oregano is a really great oil. It is the oil of humility and non-attachment. So you can kind of see where Desiree is going with this, with working on addressing the emotional component to this. Um, oh, that's so great, Karen. I'm glad that you're using your oils to support you for overwhelm. And oregano, you actually do one drop on the top of the head is where it's recommended. So I'm actually gonna use my oregano touch roller because this is diluted with the fractionated coconut oil. And again, we're using these acupuncture points and it's just one drop right on the top of the head. So I'm just going to apply a little bit right there. And if you have your oils, just apply right along with us as we go through these things. And it's really interesting. The first time that I did this protocol, I really did feel a shift in my emotions. And that's why I had to teach this class because I was fascinated by it. And actually, if you go to Desiree's Facebook page, she has a virtual Facebook live class that she's recorded teaching this. It is a little longer. It's like two hours, but there's lots and lots of goodies there. So something to consider if you're interested in that. And oregano can really help to step outside of oneself and to help to kind of get some perspective and see what needs to change, right? Awareness is the first piece in the first place that we really need to start with. 
and it can help to create an open mind, to help with being flexible and making the necessary changes that we need for personal growth. So maybe you're kind of feeling pulled like, mm, maybe I need to change my diet or maybe I need to work on sleep or maybe I need to work on some mindfulness, some quiet time, some prayer time or meditation time. So this can be helpful to kind of get some perspective, maybe kind of gently kind of bring that in and so something to try. So oregano on the top of the head, the next oil in the protocol that she recommends is cypress. I really, really love this oil, guys. So cypress is the oil of motion and flow. So it's a really nice one to support swelling in, in different areas to kind of help to kind of get things flowing. And where we're actually going to apply this is on the inside of the elbow, right there on that crease. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here, and I hope you guys are getting oily with us and we will just apply that to the inside of the elbows here. And this really helps to move all stagnation. So especially those who are feeling stuck kind of in old ways of thinking or being, it can be really great for those that are constantly feeling like they're fighting life rather than living in the flow. And that can be challenging. And sometimes that's a place of just accepting where you are right now. And we can run into those challenges in life. Um, but it really does help if we can do that, right? Live in a state of flow and surrender rather than resistance. So Cypress can be really, really powerful for that. So we're applying it to the inside of the wrist to kind of help us with that. And it also creates this fluidity of spirit. So this is what's really neat and what I think is kind of fascinating for all of this is with Cypress, right? We talked about how physically it kind of helps with supporting swelling or getting things moving, like the flow, like even sometimes around our menstrual cycles, you can apply that to the lower abdomen and area to kind of help with flow, help things flow, but also kind of help with that fluidity of spirit and helping with our emotional flow, which I think is really, really fascinating. Uh, Marianne, yeah, I'll see if I can post the link. I'm not sure if I can because it's on her Facebook page, but I'll definitely look into that, but you can search her um, and she's got it right there with all of her videos. And I actually recommend that you guys follow her Facebook page because she um, posts lots of really fascinating videos and things I've been learning a lot from her. So fennel is another really great oil that we're gonna talk about. And now we're gonna talk about boosting self-esteem. So this is really, really important along our journey. And with this, with the fennel, it's actually the oil of responsibility. So we have to take responsibility for our health and wellness, right? That's, that's so key, I think, to our journey. And the fennel, we're actually going to apply on the the wrist on the inside of the wrist crease. So I'm just gonna put my funnel right here and just kind of apply it together. Again, we're applying to those acupuncture points. And this can really help to connect with personal needs and saying yes to all that you are, which I think is so beautiful. So fennel really brings freedom because it gives us permission to let go of the unnecessary responsibilities and it helps to just guide you with being honest with what truly matters to you. Really important. And fennel actually helps to bring courage to speak up and live authentically. So again, that oil of responsibility, speaking up, living in our authentic self and our truth, which I think is really cool. And that will definitely help with our self-esteem. And then we're also gonna talk about two other oils. And these are some of my absolute favorites. So we have bergamot here. One of my absolute favorite oils, this is the oil of self-acceptance, which I think is so beautiful and so important because I've noticed in my health coaching practice and I, I see a lot of really busy women and moms and, and there is this feeling of scarcity, like we're not enough, we're not thin enough, pretty enough, smart enough, whatever enough. And bergamot really comes in and helps with that boosting the self-esteem and that self-acceptance, which I think is so beautiful. So this is a really great oil that you could just wear as perfume to have on hand. It actually tastes really amazing in water that you can use to support you. And she combines these two, which I think is really fascinating, bergamot and grapefruit. So grapefruit is the oil of emotionally honoring the body, which again, I think is so, so beautiful. 
So these two oils together, she talks about how they show how to love yourself unconditionally, which I think is really, really beautiful and really, really key to our healing journey is we have to love ourselves where we are right now. It's not what we do or produce or earning that, but just stepping into that unconditional love. And that's really, really powerful. So you begin to kind of honor who you are and fall deeply in love with yourself, which I think is a really, really beautiful thing. And we could all use more self-love. <laughs> I feel like kind of society teaches us like against that, right? Like the whole um, commercial industry of like the beauty industry, just look at that or the fashion industry or all of these things. And it's just about falling in love with ourselves and going into that self acceptance and boosting that self esteem, which is really beautiful. So listening to your needs, seeing how you are more than enough, which is really, really beautiful and just welcomes total self acceptance. And that really helps to lead to self confidence. And all of these things are really, really key. So where she recommends putting these is on the solar plexus. So kind of under the rib line there above the belly button is a really good place to put your oils. So I'm just gonna do a dab of each, our grapefruit and our bergamot. And if you have oils at home, I'm hoping that you're following along and applying these. I'm just gonna apply these real quick to that area. And this is just a really neat thing. So you could start to make this part of your daily routine in the morning. How beautiful would that be to just have a little bit of quiet time and just apply these oils. We're talking through them, but if you were doing it in the morning, you could actually do it pretty quickly. It wouldn't take you very long, not even, you know, just a couple minutes. So very, very cool. And then the next step that she talks about is bringing clarity and vision into your life. So the oil for that is two oils. The first one is Douglas fir. Dougie, I love Dougie. It smells so, so good. It's one of my favorite oils. And she talks about putting this on the back of the neck. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of Douglas fir right there. And this is the oil of generational wisdom, which I think is really beautiful. And it really helps to break destructive habits that could be clouding your thinking and vision for yourself. So Douglas fir really helps to allow for divine wisdom and guidance, which I think is really, really beautiful and kind of tying that in with the generational wisdom that we have. And it really helps to kind of brighten the mind so that you can see a new path and transition to a new way of being and just kind of opens you up. So a really, really beautiful way to use Douglas fir. And then she also recommends for clarity and vision spearmint essential oil. This is a really great one. Spearmint is the oil of confident speech. So I actually put a little bit of spearmint over my throat before I taught this class, before I teach, before I go on podcasts or lecture or anything like that to just kind of have that confident speech with whatever I'm doing. And she actually recommends a drop of this on the top of the head. So I'm just going to apply that right there. And this helps to clear away thoughts that confuse and distract us from our life's mission and really help to bring intense clarity and the ability to express to others our vision, which I think is, is really, really powerful. So you can speak from a space of sincerity and confidence with that, which is really, really cool. So you'll notice that these kind of talk about like getting more in tune with that inner wisdom or your intuition, whatever you want to call that, whether that's the Holy Spirit, God, the universe, like getting quiet and getting in touch with who you are. And I feel like that's so, so important, important work on our healing journey and just really, really powerful for that. So that was Douglas fir and Spearmint. And then she talks about how to project yourself. So she actually recommends making a roller blend with a five ML roller. So we're going to do that together. And if you've never made roller blends, you're going to learn how to make one right now. It's really, really simple. So I have this um, five ML roller bottle here that we're going to make, and we're going to use ginger and cinnamon. So if you put the lid about halfway on your roller and pull up, it will pull that roller right off to make it really convenient. And for dilution, because ginger and cinnamon are both really, really hot oils, so she recommends five drops of each. So I'm gonna open up our ginger here and we're gonna add it to our roller. 
And we will just put in five drops. One, two, three, four, five of our ginger. And ginger is the oil of empowerment, which I feel like is so beautiful and really help, helping us step into your power. Oh yeah, Mary Ann, definitely, definitely, yeah. Um, do, yeah, do a little um, commitment ceremony to yourself. That would be really beautiful. Um, so we have our five drops of ginger here and then we are going to add five drops of cinnamon to make our roller. One, two, three, four, five. And I like cinnamon a lot because it's very supportive of our blood sugar, which is really nice to kind of help us in that area. But it's also um, the oil of sexual harmony and I feel like the, the book, our Emotions and Essential Oils book, really kind of describes that in a really great way. So I'm gonna pull this up, but it, it talks about helping individuals in accepting their body and embracing their physical attractiveness and just helping to dispel fear and rejection. So that can be really powerful too. too. So if you're feeling controlled, jealous, um, fear, body rejection. This oil can really help to bring body acceptance and attractive and just feeling more harmonious. So I thought that was kind of a neat explanation, but we have five drops of each right here. And then we're going to top with our fractionated coconut oil. So here's a little tip for you. I really like the Invivo fractionated coconut oil because it comes with a pump bottle. So it makes it easy to fill up your little rollers. doTERRA does have fractionated coconut oil, and you can actually order the pump that fits on top of your doTERRA bottles, which makes it so much easier too. I got the little top, this little pump bottle from cheeroils.com. So just little life hacks to make making the rollers easier, but we're just gonna top this with our fractionated coconut oil to dilute it, because as we mentioned, ginger and cinnamon, they're hot oils, so we're going to dilute them in our own little roller. So this is how you make roller blends. It's really simple, it's really convenient. As you can see, we didn't use a lot of oil. So this is a way to really stretch your dollar that you're just using a little bit and this is gonna last you for a really long time. And this is just a five ml roller that we're using. And what I typically do with the rollers when I make them is I will get our stickers. So when you, if you got started with doTERRA, you got stickers in your little welcome packet or you can order them. They are 50 cents from doTERRA, but we're just going to put a sticker of each of those. So, and that's how I just remind myself what's inside of them. So we have a cinnamon sticker right here, and then we're going to add a ginger sticker to this and have our little roller and it's gonna be good to go with that. So very quick, it doesn't take a lot of time to make different roller bottle blends. Um, there we go, very, very easy. So she recommends to apply the ginger and the cinnamon diluted along the inside of the wrist. So again, we're applying these to acupuncture points and then also again to the solar plexus. So I will just apply that to that area and then we're good to go. And this really helps to fill the heart with passion and excitement and a deep desire to live our purpose, which I feel like is really, really beautiful and so important. We have to find our purpose in life and our big why. And this combination really helps to create movement and inspiration and encourage increases courage so that no matter the obstacle, no matter the challenge that we're dealing with, um, nothing or no one is going to stand in that way of your divine mission, which I feel like is really, really powerful. So lots of great things in here about creating healthy boundaries, about working on self-acceptance, about stepping into your clarity and your vision and just an awesome, awesome thing. So that's her protocol that we did with those oils, which is really, really beautiful. And it's really meant to go with the I Am Fabulous book that we kind of talked about in the beginning. So this book, it's really, really awesome. The I Am Fabulous book. And she really talks about in the book, a sequence of using the blends and you use the blends for two to four weeks. And she talks about how you will know 
when you're ready to switch and move on. And what I think is really beautiful is she says like, give the blends to your friends. Like when you're done using it and you've used that one, you can pass it on, right? Sharing is caring and just gift it to them and just share the love with that and use your intuition. Tune into that. That's so powerful. I feel like, especially for women, our intuition, our inner wisdom, that's our guiding system. That's really our, our guiding light to healing and how we heal with all of that. So tap into that, use that and use that to kind of let you know. So her recommendation is for the first two to four weeks, you can use either the Release Your Fears blend or the Bye Bye Baggage blend. And if you have the book, you kind of look those up to see. And usually if you read what the blend does, you'll kind of know where you need to go from that and which area like feels best for you. So as an example, the Release Your Fears blend, it says it's designed for an individual who is paralyzed by many fears, that you may have difficulty moving forward and embracing change. These fears are not logical and may have been ingrained from a, trial, a childhood trauma. Even being made fun of in school can create disaster, disastrous effects in adult life. All of these fears can prevent you from living your life fully and walking into your light and that these fears are all based on lies and this blend will break the pattern of feeling stuck and telling yourself to stop being afraid doesn't break the pattern just on its own, but it's an energetic vibration that has been trapped in your soul. Wow. So she talks about using the release your fears to help shift that energetic pattern and transform you into a higher vibration, right? We're all kind of energy and doing that can really help. So if you're feeling called to that one, maybe start with the release your fears blend and the Bye Bye Baggage Blend, as an example, it says it helps in releasing any kind of toxic people, places, or circumstances from your life. And generally that we know who we are um, as healthy and nourishing to our lives. So we kind of know the people that are kind of helping us. However, we can become addicted to what is unhealthy for us. So this blend helps us to identify the negative baggage and to create a desire to shed that for good. And that it's a transformative blend to help you transition into a new way of being, which is really powerful. Uh, yeah, Julie, definitely. Yeah. Add some of these to your LRP, to your wish list. Um, and you know, just slowly kind of, again, trust your intuition. If there was an oil that we talked about that you're like, Oh, that sounds really good. Like something that could support me. Definitely go with that. Um, Katrina was in the meeting and just joining. Oh, so the book that we're talking about, it's the, I am fabulous book. It's by Desiree Magadog and you can get it from aroma tools, oil life, edge success, all of those places. So this tear pad and actually this resource is in the file section of our group. It'll be up for two weeks with this replay. So you can catch that. Um, and she talks about, she kind of has it planned out of like starting with the release your fears or the bye bye baggage. So we kind of went through just a really great daily routine that you could do to help support you emotionally. And then she has specific blends to kind of help with that. Oh yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. And just to kind of give you an idea, I started with the Bye Bye Baggage Blend personally, and I applied that and I just kind of knew, like it was after, I think it was closer to the four weeks that I was like, okay, it's time to transition. And now I'm currently on the Release Your Fears Blend uh, from her book. And I'm actually doing that in combination with the Just Say No Blend. So we talked about how important it is to set healthy boundaries for your health and wellness. It's, it's so, so important. It's, it's something that I work with a lot with my private health coaching clients because we have to create that platform and that foundation for healing, right? And a lot of that comes from saying no and taking stuff off of our plate because I feel like a lot of us, in all honesty, when we really think about all the stuff that we're doing, it's a lot. And if you're going to create space for whatever your goals are, maybe that's health and wellness. Maybe that's, you know, working on your diet or nutrition. If we just picked like nutrition, for instance, it's going to take time to go to the grocery store and shop and meal prep and cook. And a lot of that comes from saying no, and you can't pour from an empty vessel, right? We have to take care of ourselves, fill up our tank, and then we can give from an open place. So that's, that's really good. Uh, also, I heard this really interesting quote. It said, 
resentment is high when self-care is low. And I feel like that's my big mission because for me, honestly, it took going through a health challenge and getting completely burnt out and and getting cancer before I slowed down and stopped and started taking care of myself and implementing self-care. So I really want to encourage you guys how important it is to, you know, take the five minutes in the morning to apply some oils for your emotional health and support. It can really make a big difference. Oh yeah, definitely, Marianne, definitely um, use your points. I love the points, right? Use your points and, and snag some of these up, which is so, so cool. So this book, I cannot recommend it enough. Definitely follow Desiree on her Facebook page. She has some great, great information. And there are so many blends in this book. There are blends for abundance, for feeling good, for hope, for um, empowerment, blends for the heart, blends for letting go, for inspiration, blends to support your mind, diffuser blends, which are really cool. Um, It's just a really, really beautiful book with so many Um, so many great recommendations. And this is really interesting too. She talks about the application of the oils, and this was new for me because she's an acupuncturist, applying them to those acupuncture points. So like as an example, the inside of the elbow creases where we applied a couple of those elbow or a couple of those oils to the inside of the elbow creases, that was a new one for me. And she talks about how in Chinese medicine, um, this really is lung, pericardium, and heart channels that we're applying it to and how in Chinese medicine, these organs are related to sadness and grief. So by applying your oils there, it can help to kind of open up to that, which is, which is really neat. Oh, Grace says she's applying some of the oils on her shoulders. Oh yeah. Cause she carries some stress in that area and got a much stronger reaction. Oh yeah. Okay. And so Desiree said to use her intuition. Absolutely. Our intuition is our superpower. And it's so, so important that we tap into that. So if you feel naturally drawn to one of these or drawn to an application or an oil, try it out and see how it works for you. Thank you so much for sharing that, Grace. That's really great. Um, So the inside of the wrist creases, she talks about that's lung and pericardium and heart channels as well. And plus it's a really great, easy, easily accessible way to put your oils on. So you could do that really quick, just like applying perfume to those pulse points is really powerful. Um, Another place that she talks about application is the inside of um, the forearms. So um, both sides, and it really helps to kind of um, have the oil circulate throughout the body to be absorbed there, which is really interesting. Um, And it's really great for, um, she says it's a good location to instantly create change in your emotional state which is, which is kind of cool. So you may, may play with oils. You may play with application. Um, she talks about the back of the neck or the spine, that this is really good for mental clarity. So if you're needing a little support in that area, that would be a good way um, to help. And over the heart area, that's always a really nice area. That's where I like to put oils for emotional support often too. And that can be good. And she talks about how it's over the sternum. So that's kind of between the breasts or the nipple line there. Um, Not the actual heart, but kind of right over the heart area, kind of heart chakra um, that we're talking about. And that that can really help with heartache or disappointment. So another great place for application. Around the belly button, and this is a new one for me. So I kind of found that that was interesting, but around the belly button is a great one to um, kind of apply for protection and boundaries. Ooh, so uh, Desiree, when I watched her video, she talked about how Melaleuca and On Guard are two really, really great oils for healthy boundaries and protection. So around the belly button, you could also apply to the bottom of the feet. Um, And also around the belly button is a nice place to apply oils to help to um, support your immune system function. So that may be another really interesting place to apply. Up and down the midline of the belly, And she says that that's really great for self-confidence, for self-worth issues, that that could be a really, really great place um, because we have serotonin receptors, right, in our gut, which is really fascinating. And a lot of serotonin is actually produced in the gut, not the brain. So again, just fascinating stuff here. I I love to learn all this stuff and how that can really help with happiness and self-esteem. And that the belly is really an underutilized location for essential oil application, which is true. So maybe try that along the midline of the belly or around the belly button for those different areas, depending on what you need. Bottoms of the feet. I talk about bottoms of the feet a lot because we have large pores that help with quick absorption in that area. Um, But that could be a great one 
for calmness, for grounding, putting on oils before you go to bed. Those are all really great places to apply. And then she also just talks about inhaling from the hands, right? Getting that aromatic benefit too. So you can just, you know, put the oils in your hands and then kind of cup around your nose and mouth and just inhale. And that that could be really great to kind of shift your entire chemistry and support um, your, your brain health and all of that, which is really great for mental clarity. So just kind of play with those. I, again, I found that was really interesting when she talks about the applications and it's just another great resource and tool to have in your tool book. I just started this because it was recommended and I actually caught Desiree's I started following her on Facebook and caught, caught a couple of her classes and was fascinated with this and was like, oh my gosh, I have to teach a class on this and I have to grab her book. And again, I use that in combination with the Emotions and Essential Oils book. This is a fabulous, fabulous book. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, oh yeah, Steph, no problem. Yeah, jump back in later and you can catch the replay for sure. And a lot of those places like Aroma Tools, Oil Life, Edge Success, if you go to their website, they actually have stickers for all of the roller blends. So there's the labels for each of the blends in her book, which is kind of neat. And then they also have the stickers to put on top. So this could be a fun thing that you could do if you get the book, you could get the stickers as well and play with them. And like, what a beautiful gift, right? You could use the oils to support you along your health journey, emotional journey. You could make a roller blend for a friend. Say you have a friend who just lost a family member or something. You can make them a roller and give that to support them. I think it's really, really beautiful how we can use the oils to support us emotionally. It can be really, really powerful because our emotional health is linked with our physical health. We are three-dimensional people. We have to look at all of that, right? So that is our class. The files section in our group has the tear pad here. So make sure that you download that to watch the replay. It'll be up for two weeks. And yeah, I am actually, I've created an I am fabulous kit and I will post that for you guys tomorrow and it'll be exciting. It'll be a little flash sale that I've created for any people that are new to doTERRA, new to essential oils and are excited about getting started. If you wanted to kind of incorporate the oils for your emotional health and well-being, that is coming. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. And this is really the perfect time to get started with doTERRA because I've never actually seen doTERRA offer this before, but if you get started Started with any of the kits and there's several so if you are interested please reach out to me I would love to help and support you along your essential oil journey if you don't already have an essential oils mentor or somebody and really when you get started with any of the kits you get $50 in free essential oils of your choice which is awesome so that's just through this month so definitely reach out to me in the next couple of days I would love to help you get started oh my pleasure Mary Ann I'm so glad that you found this class helpful and that's really what um, what I love to do so I have a private group for all of the people in our oils family and we just provide so much essential oils education and support to kind of help you along your journey because it is like learning a new language and then we help people we set them up we do a 30 minute welcome call on zoom and show you how to make roller bottle blends and use your oils and start to use those and then we also do a, a membership overview call to show you how to log in if you needed to place an order all of that we really just kind of provide that support and education for our people which i think is so so important to get that education and support along your journey so if you are interested in that reach out to me um also, we have our Essential Life book, uh, which is really awesome. This is a gift that we give to our new oilers as well. It's an amazing resource. Um, I highly recommend that you check that out as well. There's a little bit of information in there about the emotional components with the essential oils too, but it is one of my favorite resources. And we have a giveaway for you guys. So for everybody who tuned in and was watching live, um, and I will have this giveaway uh, let's do it, let's say until, let's see, it's 1.38 p.m. Central Time now. So let's say until 3 p.m. Central Time. If you want to comment below with any of, of the learning things or any comment at all, that will enter you into the drawing. Um, oh, thanks so much, Julie. This will be for US only. I'm so sorry to our UK and Canada friends. The shipping is just kind of crazy, um, but this is gonna be open for all of our people in the US. Um, I have to thank Aroma Tools for this. They are so nice and they sponsored this class for us and have so many goodies. So what we have 
for you. It's kind of some awesome stuff. So there is a Modern Essentials, it's an essential oils coloring therapy buck. So you can put your essential oils on and color and have calmness in your life. They um, provided us with, this is really cool. It's their motivation blend. So they even have some recipes here for diffuser blends. Oh, thank you so much, Grace. I'm so glad that um, you joined us. Thank you for that. They have these really cool recipe cards um, from Aroma Tools, which is really neat. So there are recipes for making your own mosquito repelling spray for some natural soap, for um, different kind of serums and things. These are actually really cool, the little recipe books. They have um, a little handout that also has more recipes and education there too. A cute little pen for you along your essential oil journey. And then um, some measuring cups. So this is really neat, cooking with essential oils, making your own do-it-yourself recipes and things with the recipes that were given there. And also an Aroma Tools keychain, which is really cool. So one person will get um, all of that bundle and one person will get the keychain. And the other person who wins our giveaway will get this really cool magnet. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I want one of these. So it talks about all of the ways that you can cook with your essential oils and directions on how to do that. And it's a magnet, so you can put it right on top of your refrigerator to use for cooking, which is really, really cool. So um, we have those two goodies there. So all you have to do is comment below with a learning comment or anything, um, any comments that you have about the class and we will get you entered. And the giveaway will close at 3 p.m. Central Time today. And then we'll announce the winner and we will get those mailed off to you as a thank you. So big thank you to Aroma Tools for doing that for us. Oh, Marianne, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you didn't um, get much help or information when you first started your essential oil journey. Yeah, that's what we really want to prevent, right? Because um, just as important as it is to use pure certified essential oils, and, and I truly, that's why I love doTERRA so much is because um, I did a lot of research before deciding which essential oil to use and doTERRA's oils are certified pure therapeutic grade. I really do believe they're the best oils money can buy. And while that's so important, it's also so important to get started with somebody that you're going to get mentoring and support and help. And, and I do these public classes to support other people too, people that may not be getting that. Um, oh, thank you so much, Katrina. I'm so glad that you're finding these classes helpful and informative. Um, yeah, that, that's my goal. Um, oh, so Julie says that she diffused lavender uh, for her son last night and for sleeping and he loved it. And he said that um, he slept better. Oh, this is so great, Julie. I'm so glad that makes my heart so happy. Yeah. So, and that's kind of a big decision, right? I don't take that lightly when people choose me as their essential oils mentor and educator, because that's, that's a big deal for me. And I really want to support people, all of the classes. And I put these up in the public group that we have here to support people so that they can watch for two weeks and snag those resources and things. Um, but really I have a whole virtual library of all of our classes and things for our oils family and for people that get started on our team. So I don't take that lightly and, um, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And, and a lot of people don't know that when you pick that person to get started with, um, it's very hard to switch. It's, it's very hard to switch. You'd have to let your account go inactive or all of these things. So I really just want people to feel supported, to feel helped, to feel confident, right? Because when you know how to use your essential oils, you have them on hand. And now in our home for our family, they're the first thing that we go to for support with whatever we may have going on. So um, first line of support, it is so nice. And yeah, it's just, it's just my pleasure. It's my passion to help people, educate people and to support them along their journey. So yeah, if you are new to essential oils, if you want to get started, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. You can comment below and let me know. You can send me a private Facebook message. You can send me an email at womenshealthcoach at gmail.com. And I would love to help you get started so you could take advantage of all of these specials and goodies that are happening um, just through the month of May to get the $50 in free oil, which is really, really amazing. I will post our I Am Fabulous kit up in the group tomorrow, and that's going to have a lot of 
awesome things um, to kind of have there too to help you get started in some goodies and things and that'll be uh, kind of a flash two-day sale so if anybody's interested in that and kind of using the oils that we talked about in this class stay tuned for that um, yeah Marianne if you really are unhappy um, and things definitely reach out to me and um, send me a private message or an email or something and we'll talk um, for sure to kind of to kind of help you um, but yeah unless you guys have any other questions i will pop off and let you get back to your afternoon and um yeah we'll see you for the class next month i'm trying to decide what we should do i've had my own personal journey with um candida actually after having two hip surgeries and i think all of the iv antibiotics that they gave me kind of brought that on so we may do a class on supporting yourself with candida i'm still thinking about it it's always so much fun for me to pick a class each month to do um, but stay tuned for that because we will have a new class for you coming next month and yeah okay well i hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure that you comment to enter the giveaway until 3 p.m central time and yeah i will see you guys in the cloud for the next class i hope you guys have a great rest of your day um, a great weekend enjoy your holiday and um, hopefully you have off work on monday here in the u.s for memorial day and i will catch you guys later have a great day bye